I wanted to give you guys a brand new look at the third edition of Biology for the Grammar Stage. As you can see again, we've done the lighter teacher's guide, so when you look at them on the shelf, you'll be able to tell which one is the teacher's guide and which one is the student workbook really easily. So let's dig into the teacher's guide first. We'll start off with a quick start guide that will tell you what you're doing in a nutshell, what you need as far as the student materials, and the three spines. The three spines are going to be the same as what they were in the previous editions. So the Basher Biology, the My First uh, Encyclopedia of Animals from Kingfisher, and the DK First Human Body Encyclopedia. And we do have book packages with those. Um, then you'll also have a link to the resource page, the supplies. We have a kit for that as well and a full list on page 16. And then about how the program works. So your table of contents, look through that real quick. So all of our new third editions have these peek inside that really explains in a glance uh, what's in the teacher's guide and what's in the student materials. So the biggest change to the new edition of biology for the grammar stage is the topics that we're covering. So we've added a new unit called the living world where we cover living things and non-living things and some of the basics of the living world. And then we also uh, changed or shortened our animals unit. So we're only spending 16 weeks here instead of the 20 that were in the previous edition. And we've gotten rid of some of the vertebrate animals and added in some more invertebrates to more cover those two uh, segments of animals more evenly. But the human body unit and the plants unit have gotten a little changes, but they remained relatively the same. So then you'll see next thing, the introduction. We'll really go into deep into explaining the different parts and your full supply list. And let's get to the heart of the program, your weekly lesson plans. So each week, your lessons are going to be divided into the three keys to teaching science. So read, do, and write. And you've got a two-day a week and a five-day a week schedule there available for you. Your reading assignments will be first. And those will come with discussion questions for you to use. Um, then you'll have your optional memory work and optional encyclopedias you can add and optional books from the library. So everything from here down is optional. You can add that if your student wants more. Then we have our demonstrations. And one of the best part about the third edition is that these demonstrations are in here for you rather than in the Janice Van Cleve books. So you've got your materials. You've got your scripted introduction to use with your students. You've got the full procedure in here for you and then a scripted explanation. And Again, your options to take it further if you want. You've got those optional unit projects and optional projects for the week. So again, you're going to have lots of hands-on options to present the face of science to your students, just as in our previous program. And then you have your writing assignments. So you have your student workbook, the optional lap booking templates, um, and then the optional coloring pages that we have. You'll have your vocabulary you can cover with your students, and then you'll have the answers to those review sheets that you can use. So you see, um, if there isn't an article in the resources that I showed you, um, we will have information in the teacher's guide for you to read to your students if we feel it's not adequately covered in the resources. So you have those in there, and then it continues on. You'll have your schedule first, and then you'll have your teaching information for read, do, and write and it'll continue like that through the weeks. So all of our poems um, in these units have been reworked to be even better for your students to help them remember. And then we've really expanded our invertebrate po poem um, to reflect the fact that we've expanded the section on invertebrates. So that's kind of how your teacher's guide is put together. At the back of the guide, you'll find those the templates that you need to do the different projects. And then you will find a full glossary of the terms if you want to print those out for your students or have that available. And then you'll find an additional library look book list listed by week. So that's the long and short of the teacher's guide. Uh, the student workbook has also been uh, revamped a bit. So in the student workbook, we have that same letter to our students in the font that's easier for emerging readers to read. Uh, we've got the table of contents, and then we've got a peek inside their uh, workbook that explains what the different sheets that they have will do. We've got uh, each unit will start with, whoops, 
There we go. There's the beginning of a unit. So each unit will start with your unit projects. Um, the sheets for those pictures for that will be in the appendix of this or in the back of this guy and then you'll have your notebooking sheet for each week and you'll have your demonstration report so each week you'll have the notebooking sheet and the demonstration report facing each other so you just have your student open it up and this will be their week's material and then in the back oh, almost went by it we have the glossary the ABC glossary with the pictures to help your students remember what they're learning and we have the memory work. If you want, you can print these out and, or copy them and use them as posters for your students. Uh, then there's those pictures that they're using. So make sure there's nothing on the back of those so you can cut them out directly out of the workbook. And then you've got your review sheets. So the review sheets are simple questions for just to help them review what they studied for the week. So that is what the third edition of biology for the grammar stage looks like. You can see full samples at elementalscience.com. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know.